Okay, now let's finish the re-exam set from 2018 in VPE STA5 statistics. And here we need to look at this question about cat's body and heart weight. And to do so, we should look at the cat's M data set in the boot package. So first of all, we need to install this and then uh, let's see uh, what we can come uh, forward with. Let's just copy this and insert into our RStudio documents. Okay. Just add a few new lines so we have something to, to work with. And now we have our first headline. And I'm just setting things up so it's easier to to fill in uh, what should be done. Good. So first of all, I need to load the boot package, and I'm not sure I have it installed. Well. Actually, I have it installed, fine. So no issues there. And um, we can see here that the data set contains measures of body and heart weight from a, of a set of male cats. And now we are asked to plot and describe the data. So uh, let's see what we have here. Cats M, this is the data set. And now we can see what the data set contains. We have some body weights and some heart weights. Um, and this is just a, a long list of, of numbers. Um, so we can see if we can take these data and input that to ggplot and see if we can visualize it somehow. I'd like to use a geom point for that and we can see how the body weight, we can put the body weight on the x-axis and the heart weight on the y-axis to get a plot like this. And it seems there is a very nice uh, relation between these uh, two elements. There might be a similar issue um, as in the early exercise about the uh, units used for the heart weight and the body weight. And if we uh, look up the help file for, for that, um, we can see some, some description of it over here. Um, and we can see that the body weight is in kilogram and the heart weights are in uh, grams. Good. So here we have a plot of the data. Let's uh, add it with a bit more information. So we put some labels on it. We would like to uh, state that it's the body weight and it's measured in kilograms, as well as the uh, heart weight on the y-axis, and that is measured in uh, grams. So we have something like this. Um, and we could also add information about uh, our source of data. Uh, that's uh, data from the cat's M data set. Thank you. So now we know where we have our data from, and uh, we should also describe the data that are, are seen here. We can do that uh, using uh, different means. Um, so yeah, let's see if we can make some uh, summary statistics. Uh, point. So, 
at some points. Um, And some statistics are found from the and what we can see here is that we get a mean value of the body weight and the heart weight. And we get some quartiles and so on. If we also want to get information about um, um, the standard deviation of, of these values, we can see uh, what uh, comes out of it uh, here. So I'll try to summarize that in a different way, um, just by stating summarize, and then we have mean value. Uh, I want to change a bit first. Uh, wait a moment. I want to add some row names uh, and might be able to to do so using this um, one of the functions described in, in this uh, data transformation with dplyr cheat sheet. Um, do, 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 do. Raw names to column. That was the one I, I wanted to use. Okay, because then we have a, a unique identifier for it. Then we can say select minus six. We don't want to have that column with us because it's the exact same thing. And finally, I want to convert this from a wide format to a long format. So I want to use gather. And so uh, I want to generate two new uh, columns, one with the name of the measure and another one with the value. And I don't want to use the raw name uh, here. So now I have it in a more tidy data way with the body weight and the heart weight. So that's fine. And finally, we can try to summarize uh, the data. So we have the mean value, mean of the value, and standard deviation of the, of the values, SDF value. Um, computation of the mean and standard deviation. Uh, and one thing I I haven't done yet is to um, well I, I sort of mixed up I was expecting a mean value uh, and a standard deviation for both the heart weights and the body weights so I forgot to use a group by on the measure. Okay, much better. So now we have some uh, data. Um, we need to describe the, the data set. So let's look exactly on what we should do. We should plot and describe the data. And we could, for instance, use summary statistics in the uh, description. So I'll just move a bit around here. So uh, the data set gets M. 
um, describes a relation between uh, male cats uh, heart weight and uh, body weight. So far, so good. Um, the average heart weight is 11.32 grams with a standard deviation of of 2.54 grams and the uh, average body weight is 2.9 kilo kilograms with a standard deviation of 0.47 kilogram um, in the plot, we see a linear relation between the body weight and the heart weight. And some data points are scattered a bit around. Um, so all observations are seen to lie within, what is it, if we have a line here, and then we have plus or minus 5 grams, then more or less everything should be covered. Minus five. of the um, linear relation. Heart weight. Good. So finally, we need to look into the to fit a linear model to this and see uh, whatever comes out of it. So we, I think I will use the uh, Broom library for doing this. Uh, it's not really needed, but uh, we can do some, some nice things with it. So we can uh, take the cat's M dataset and make a linear model of it where we want to predict the heart weight terms of the body weight um, like this and the data should be from the CATSM data set and if we just show it like here we get uh, the intercept value and the body weight that is the slope um, of the relation but often we can get even better data by uh, looking at the summary output uh, here. So let's see what the question asks us. Fit a linear model to the data and describe the fitted model. And finally we are asked if the assumptions are satisfied. So, let's see here. I'll just see if I can save the data in this uh, cat's fit. And then, uh, oh, how to do it? It's augment. So, what comes out of this if I augment the data or the fitted model in cat's fit is that I both get the fitted values and some standard deviations and residuals and much more 
uh, here, and some of these elements can be very nice to, to look at. I'll just save this for, for later. So with this, these augmented data, we can actually uh, plot them and see uh, how the residuals are distributed and if there is a relation uh, between uh, some of the elements. So I'll use a geom point right here. On the x-axis, I want uh, the body weight. And on the y-axis, I want the uh, residuals, like here. And then we get a plot like uh, this where we can see how the residuals are distributed uh, around the line zero or the, the tendency line that we have uh, fitted, or linear model if we want to use that term. Um, ah, not hard weight, it's body weight. So let's see what we, uh, okay, it wasn't supposed to be here. So I'll just move it down. So sorry for moving a bit uh, fast around. This broom package will only be needed down here. Um, linear least squares fit is, um, is found from the, from the data. The relation linear least squares fit has the uh, form and now we need to, to write it up so we have that the heart weight is equal to the to a constant of this uh, minus 1.1841 1 plus 4 times 3 1 2 4 multiplied uh, with the uh, body weight. That's the form. Um, and okay. finally, I need to look into the um, how this has been uh, defined or open a new window that will do. So, um, So, no, wait, we'll just find the textbook open stat uh, statistics. Oh, that's not the one. Um, Open intro statistics. That was. It's just to remember what things are called. And if we find how to do linear regression here, 
they have a list of requirements or assumptions that should be met um, when doing this. And we can just try to comment on them one by one. So, and so here we have the conditions. Um, we can move this plot a bit down. We are asked to um, evaluate whether the assumptions for the linear fit is uh, met. Four assumptions are linearity, um, nearly normal uh, residuals, and whatever constant variability. And finally, um, we have that the sample should be independent. Um, the linearity is um, yeah, the requirement requirement for linearity is um, met as is seen on the plot from exercise 3a. The normal normality of the residuals are verified by the QQ uh, plot shown uh, below. Just uh, replicate this and instead of um, using the QM point, I would use a stat QQ and then have the sample value to be the, our residuals. And they seem to be uh, on a straight line. Um, So here we have uh, the theoretical quantiles, the Q values, and our actual measurements uh, here. Um, so that's okay. Um, so the no normal normality of the residuals are verified by the QQ plot shown below that has the observations lying on a straight line. And finally, we have the constant variability is of the residuals uh, shown the variability of the residuals is shown below and is shown to be of constant variability um, so that they are, how they are 
distribute it doesn't really depend on the body weight well I can't start again spell to body fix now so and the uh, linear are the last requirement that the samples are independent well the samples are independent um, I cannot, cannot tell uh, from the information in the documentation for the data set. Um, But I assume that it is the case as all the any models are independent. Hmm. Actually, I don't. Yeah, it's hard to to state the, the last thing here, um, because all the cats have been through the the same uh, treatment, and well, uh, these uh, treatment has selected the cats in a certain way. It's very difficult to to tell. So, actually, I want to move things around a bit. Uh, like here, because then it's uh, much easier to uh, read the text when it's uh, together instead of uh, all scattered uh, around. So we uh, variability of the Then I'll just add a title to, to these uh, plots. Um, do, 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 do. So now we have actually answered the entire um, entire question we need to knit it and then we are ready to to upload uh, our answer for the exercise for the exam set